Hello and welcome to Dish Sheld with Adam White. Today I'm going to be talking about Palomar, the Heartbreak Soup Stories, a Love and Rockets book by Gilbert Hernandez. I'm going to set it down a little bit because it's heavy. It's a pretty big book. Um, Love and Rockets was a, com this is the first one I'm doing for Comictober. Uh, Love and Rockets uh, was and is, it's still going on. A book that premiered in 1982 and uh, uh, was published through Fantagraphics and it was by Gilbert Hernandez and Jaime Hernandez brothers that had come up with their own sets of stories uh, that were kind of slice of life stories. Uh, it was very different from anything that was being published at the time and uh, they really kind of kicked off the indie comic scene. Uh, there was, I mean, there were underground comics before that, but most of them were, uh, fairly hard to get and, uh, pretty racy, I think. Uh, and they're just, they had cult followings, but not mainstream success. The Love and Rockets stories that came out, which was Palomar, and then uh, Jaime did the Locust stories, uh, which I will talk about probably at the end of October, if I can get it read. Uh, and they created this comic that was a magazine-sized comic, and it brought a lot of new readers in, especially women readers. Uh, they really brought a lot of women in because they had women as main characters in their stories and, you know, treated them with respect and really gave them, uh, their own individual lives. Uh, Gilbert Hernandez's part was the Palomar stories. Palomar's a town down, I assume, in Mexico, because they always talk about being close to the American border. Uh, I would say Palomar, if it was a novel, would be one of the great American novels. Uh, as it is, it's a great American graphic novel, even though it takes place in Mexico. Uh, some of it takes place in America later on, but not a whole lot. Uh, but it is a fantastic novel and like I said it's still going on today but these this collects the first I think two books uh, of stories and because it's it's about uh, let's see here 522 pages so I think that's the first two books of Palomar uh, there are at least five, I think. Uh, you can get them now in paperback. These were special editions. Uh, I got back in 2006 when they were fairly new. I got this one in the Locust one. Uh, and um, now you can get them all in paperback and you can get them on Kindle. So they're all readily available by Fantagraphics. You can get them at Fantagraphics.com too. So they're very easy to access now. Uh, it didn't used to be like that uh, because trades were such a, weren't a market until more of the 90s and 2000s. Um, but... This story uh, is mainly about Luba, who is starts out as a woman who gives people bass, which is a little dicey, which it seems a little on the dicey side, but I guess that was a thing. Uh, like I said, these started in 82, uh, and... Uh, that takes place in Palomar, which is a small, small town, like I said, I believe in Mexico, uh, with not a whole lot of people, 
and they don't even have a telephone there. They make a big deal about that in a later story in the in the book. Um, it is a collection of stories uh, from the Love and Rockets series. Uh, but uh, Luba has several children, and um, they all have different fathers, except for two of them have the same father. But the fathers aren't in the picture, uh, and it just kind of follows her life and how she uh, carries on in a town where there's not really a lot of work and not really a lot of anything. Uh, there's also Chelo, the sheriff. Uh, she has a bigger part more towards the beginning of the book, but has less of a presence in later stories. Uh, and she started out as a person who, a banyadora, I believe it's called, uh, that gave bass two, but they decided that they couldn't have two in the town, so she became a sheriff. Uh... <laughs> But that happens right near the beginning, so that's not giving anything away. And um, my other two favorite characters, and I'm probably going to butcher this pronunciation, but it's Heraclio. Uh, it looks, some people call him Hercules because it's spelled close to Hercules. But it, I believe it's Heraclio. And uh, Carmen, uh, who uh, was found at a some kind of, I don't know if it was a flea market or something, but she was just a child and had a, a sign on her that said good riddance. And so uh, a woman that had two girls of her own took her in and raised her as her own daughter. Uh, and she just has a great personality. Uh, she uh, is very short, but she's feisty. And... Uh, she really tells everybody like it is. She she definitely doesn't pull any punches when it comes to talking to other people and letting other people know what's wrong in their lives. Uh, and then Heraclio is a, is a music teacher. and um, But I never did see any school in the story. So I, I don't know if he just teaches individually or... Um, if there is some kind of school setting somewhere close, they may have said, I may have just missed it, but, um, they just, I mean, this is a really small town and he just has a great personality too. And, um, all the characters are unique. Uh, they have several sets of sisters and uh, there's a, a kind of a gang of guys that um, grow up together. Uh, Heraclio is one of them. And uh, they kind of take up for each other. One of them goes to jail for a while. Uh, one of them takes a self-imposed exile from Palomar. Uh, they just, they all have... Um, just strange goings on in this town because it is such a small town. You know, people end up having children at like 14 years old and uh, it just, it's a really, it's really kind of sad uh, in, in a lot of ways, but hopeful in the way that it's written. Uh, Gilbert Hernandez really has a masterpiece here. Uh, I'd rank this among the top comics that I've ever read. Uh, I may even do a video on my top 10 comics, my favorite ones, but uh, I'll, I've really got to think about that because there's a lot of comics that I like. But this list one ranks right up there. Uh, I have to apologize to Gilbert and Jaime Hernandez for not reading their work until now. Uh, because it's so fantastic. But, like I said, I've had this since 2006 I got this, and the other one from Fanographics at a con. And uh, 
Gilbert's stories are just fantastic. And, um, lost my concentration. <laughs> um, but I really think that he's done a very magnificent story. And like I said, it's still going on. Uh, there's a few more volumes you can get in paperback or on Kindle. And, um, then there's newer stories and a newer Love and Rockets series that's out. Uh, like I said, Gilbert and Jaime practically created the indie comic scene. Uh, excellent stories. And um, there's just, I would recommend it probably it would be okay i mean there's some adult content in here so i would i would uh recommend at least being maybe 16 or so before you read it but it honestly means more when you're a little bit older uh because if you were young you might say oh where's the action uh you know you might be more inclined still to superheroes in your teenage years uh and maybe even early 20s but if you get into your 20s and 30s and 40s, like I am, uh, you really appreciate it more. And so I'm almost glad that I came to it later because you can read it and see the value in what, what has been done here. Uh, and like I said, it's a great American graphic novel and doesn't get nearly the, uh, the notice that it should. Uh, it's an excellent, excellent story. I, I can't say much. There's a murder mystery at one point. Uh, there's just, I mean, there's a lot of different stuff that happens in this book, but it's mostly just about these people's lives and how they turn out and how being in such a small town uh, really affects you in your worldview. And can you make it out of there? Uh, do you want to make it out of there? Uh, and, and that's just really the story. I mean, there's no overarching plot to the whole thing. Uh, the murder mystery is probably the closest thing to a graphic novel in it that's collected, but, um, it really wasn't even the focus of the story. The focus was still on the characters. And that's what this is about is really strong characters and I think it's just an absolutely fantastic graphic novel. And I can't wait to get to the other ones. Like I said, I'm going to try to read the Locust one by uh, Jaime Hernandez uh, for the end of this month. Uh, so hopefully I can get through that. It's a pretty big book. There's actually two books collected in this format. Uh, so I may just get to the one or I can, might try to do them both if I have the time. But... Um, Love and Rockets, fantastic. These Palomar stories are absolutely outstanding. And like I said, if you're a little bit older, uh, I think you'll appreciate them more uh, because it's just stuff that you wouldn't necessarily appreciate in your teens uh, just because you don't have enough life experience yet to really get what's going on in this story. But excellent excellent book i highly recommend it palomar by gilbert hernandez uh it's part of the love and rockets series you can like i said you can get them easily in paperback or on kindle and uh so definitely check these out and um like i said this one i think collects the first two graphic novels uh collections that were because it's about the page count for the first two of those so definitely check out palomar and i will be coming up with some other books this month that uh might appeal especially to older readers uh i mean you know in your 20s at least uh and um thanks for hanging out with me this week and i will see you again next week